Yeah. Hi everyone, welcome to the Free Range Diva. I have two things that I want to talk to you about today. And they may seem unrelated, and that's because they are, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, we got free food from uh, a, a subscription source or a membership club almost called Social Nature. And I will talk about how I signed up, how you can sign up just like I did, and they will send you coupons for free products to try and review on their website. The other thing that I want to talk to you about is something called Good Stuff Gypsy Cream. And this is a balm, it's a healing balm that uh, relies on spring water from Montana. So it's a local product to Montana and it's awesome and so I want to tell you about that too. So. Let's just jump right into it. Social Nature is the name of a website. They are a site that presents socially responsible brands, brands that are sustainable, brands that are largely organic but very, very clean for you to try. And the idea is if you sign up at their website, they will uh, allow you to go through the products that they're offering for that month, that week, that day, and you can pick what you like. And uh, if they approve of you, then you they will send you a coupon to try that product for free. So I did this. The um, sign up process was really, really quick. It's probably no more than a couple of minutes. There's a form that you fill out and then they open up their website to you and you have, you can either scroll through like dozens and dozens of different types of products and they will, um, you can pick, like if you see something that interests you, you can click on that and uh, you know, let them know that you'd like to try it. They will send you a questionnaire and this questionnaire usually uh, is basically just your buying habits, um, you know, how you shop, where you shop, things like that, how you, you know, basically how you buy things. Uh, and then um, once you're approved, you turn in that questionnaire, you submit that questionnaire, and once you're approved, they will then send you in the mail a uh, voucher for a free product. They also tell you what stores carry that product near you and the idea is that you take the the voucher to the store, you get your free product, you try it, and then you review it on their website. And that way you're sharing uh, the their you know you're sharing the the knowledge and getting people excited about trying new brands that they may not have necessarily tried or maybe not even necessarily heard of which was the case for me many of the brands that uh, were there were new to me the first thing that i tried was from a company called boulder organic soups and uh, they make soups that are handmade um, the chicken soup that i tried here actually is my here is the product this is chicken soup and they use, um, it's, this is organic, so they use all organic ingredients. They use things like bone broth and pastured chicken and fresh vegetables. And they have uh, a lot of different varieties, but uh, I picked this one because it seemed like it would be pretty basic. And uh, I tried it last night, and I'm going to submit my review today. And I'll let you know how that process goes out. I'll just put a note down in the comp down in the uh, description bar or something if there's any problems. But I don't expect there will be. Um, in the packet the, that I got from them, not only was there a coupon for a voucher for the free soup, there was also another voucher for a buy one get one. So uh, I my uh, local retailer was Whole Foods. So when I go back, because uh, I wanted to try it first, <laughs> because this is fresh. This stays in your refrigerator, so it's not something that is that will you know sit on your shelf for a very long time. Uh, there is you know you want to eat it fairly quickly. So once I'm done with that one, I'll go back and I'll buy um, you know two more. And to give you an idea, just I'm just going to look at some of the varieties here. They have minestrone, autumn squash, chicken quinoa and kale, green chili corn chowder, tomato basil. 
So there's a lot of different varieties for you to pick from. And uh, what I can say so far in my review, what I'm going to say, this is the best soup I have had then uh, better than anything that comes in a can or in any box. I did not season it. I just warmed it up straight because I really wanted to know what it tastes like. It has a very rich flavor and it's really spicy. It's got a nice little kick to it as well. Uh, so it was very warming, soothing, and perfect to have on a cooler evening night. All right, enough of that. Um, once you start uh, sharing, you know, like if you make, once you start making your reviews, if you share them to your social media and things like that, you get rewards, even more rewards. And uh, these can be any kind of prizes. And I guess they, they, you know, you'll get them in your um, email box, which is the other thing that I, I forgot to mention. Uh, you can pick, you can go to the site and you can pick what you like. Or what I did is I just waited uh, until they started sending me things in my email box that they thought would be right for me. And then I picked from there. So you, it's either, you know, it just depends on your style of shopping or, you know, whatever you prefer. But um, uh, social nature, I, you know, I, I, so far I can recommend it. A great way to try new brands. Uh, brands that are again socially responsible, brands that, that use sustainability as uh, you know a, a core of their ethic, and uh, brands that are going to give you really healthy, nutritious, and clean food. And then the other thing that I wanted to talk about was something called Good Stuff Gypsy Cream. This uh, was actually sent to me by a friend and viewer, Sean. Hi, Sean, who lives in Montana. And this is something that she thought that I would really like to try. And uh, it, it, it is. And let me tell you um, what this is exactly. Because, it, yes, it's a skin balm. You put it on your skin uh, and it protects your skin, particularly in, you know, inclement weather. But this product comes from a uh, centuries-old recipe that uh, was developed by Romanian gypsies. And uh, it has a really short ingredient panel. I will tell you exactly what's in here. Hemp is the first ingredient, followed by their Mountain uh, Montana Spring Hot Spring Water. There is then shea butter, aloe vera, and beeswax. That's it. And uh, the fragrance here is practically nothing. You do get a little hint of shea. That's what I smell is the shea butter in there. And uh, let me just, I have a little card here. So this is supposed to soothe a variety of skin issues and I want to read uh, what they say that you should try it on. This is from the uh, people that make this because this is handmade, by the way, if I didn't say that before. Psoriasis, rosacea, acne, diaper rash, eczema, burns, wrinkles, dermatitis, minor wounds, cuts, sun damaged skin, even skin that's been damaged from chemo and radiation treatment because this is extremely gentle. This cream, uh, I, okay. Normally here in Southern California, we have a, a, a climate that is pretty mild. Uh, we have good humidity, like 50, 60, even sometimes 70, 80% in the early mornings uh, most of the year. The only time that things get a little strange around here is uh, when we have what's called a Santa Ana condition. If you've been reading about the fires, this is what causes those fires because the winds blow in. Normally we get an onshore flow like the jet stream coming out of the west off the ocean and that keeps the temperatures uh, quite moderate. Um, when that weather pattern switches and the winds start blowing off the east, out of the east they're in desert and uh, the Rockies, it goes bone dry. I'm talking the humidity the first day dropped to 1%. It's uncomfortable, especially when you're not used to it. Um, and usually it doesn't last that long, although this past month of October, the Santa Ana winds lasted for three weeks. And today we're having a break, but they are supposed to be back in a few days. So that's unusual. Um, and uh, it, you know, my skin, as you might expect, really dried out. So I was very happy to put this on. Uh, I have a couple of bombs like this, actually. This and another one that I kind of rotate. <coughs> Excuse me. 
that I kind of rotate, uh, you know, to keep my skin from getting really flaky and burning. But uh, about a month ago, I developed a rash on my upper lip. First couple of weeks, I pretty much ignored it. And then uh, re finally I started putting, I didn't know what to put on. I was putting coconut oil. I was putting olive oil, my olive oil cream, uh, rather my olive oil balm from, Bert, from Badger. Um, and I don't know why it didn't occur to me to put this on because uh, this coupled, what I did, nothing was working. So I picked up this first aid cream. This is 1% uh, hydrocortisone hydro with tea tree and uh, combined that with the gypsy cream. And finally, after about four days, uh, the rash is almost gone. I mean, I'm able to wear lipstick and it doesn't look weird. Um, and uh, it, was, it wasn't itchy. It was just kind of painful and very scaly and rough. And so everything is softened up. So now I'm just using this to keep it softened and to keep it going because this acts like a steroid, uh, but obviously is not. Let me show you. Um, oh, the the uh, here's what it looks like, and it looks like a thick balm, but actually it is a very lightweight cream. And this cream, as you can see, oh, I put a lot on. Let's just, there we go. This sheen that you see on the skin is from the water. Um, and look, at I mean, it's, your skin just looks gorgeous. But the water has a, a pH of 9.6, which is exactly what your skin is, your skin's pH. It also, as they say, it is rumored to have the second largest amount of trace minerals of any water in the world. And these trace minerals are such that you cannot get in your sort of everyday life. But what they do for you is they really heal the skin. So this, this it's called Good Stuff Gypsy Cream. I highly recommend it. I uh, burned my thumb right here ironing today and so I put this on that was this was the first thing I reached for and uh, I'm very happy to report that it's not painful anymore so it's already started healing that burn that I had right there so uh, <laughs> good stuff gypsy cream uh, I, I highly recommend it I'm so great grateful to Sean for sending me this and uh, if you haven't tried it, it's really affordable. I will put all the info down below. So, yeah, give this a try. Uh, I don't think you're going to be disappointed, especially uh, as, you know, the rough winter weather is coming. And again, this was developed in Montana where they know about weather and it's handcrafted, small batch, sustainable, and a really just a beautiful, beautiful product. All right, everybody, that is gonna wrap it up for today. I've given you two things for you to consider. So um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That, that really helps out my channel. And of course, uh, if you've subscribed, thank you if you're a reg regular viewer. Thank you. And uh, if you're new and you haven't subscribed, please do. Just don't forget to hit the uh, subscription, the subscription, the notification bell so you won't miss my next video. I thank you so very, very much for watching today. I'm wishing everyone a wonderful day, a wonderful week. Take good care of yourselves, and I will talk to you again very, very soon. Bye!